The differences amongst us Democrats on the stage are not as great as the urgency for us to unite as a party, not just to beat Donald Trump, but to unite America in common cause and common purpose. That's why I'm running for president, and that's how I will lead this nation. This must be a moment where we as Democrats can begin to show that we can not only stake and stand our ground, but find common ground because we've got one shot to make Donald Trump a one-term president. And we cannot lose it by the way we talk about each other or demonize and degrade each other. We can walk and chew gum at the same time. If I am the leader, I will work towards the ideal of health insurance, health coverage being a right for all Americans, but every single day I'll join with other Democrats to make progress happen in our nation for the people that are struggling and suffering today. Everyone on this stage should say that we are gonna give clemency to these 17,000 people. And I challenge you, don't just say big statements, back it up with details of the people in prison right now. I will lead change on this issue because I have seen what the carnage creates in communities like mine because we forget national shootings, these, these mass shootings are tragedies, but the majority of the homicide victims come from neighborhoods like mine. Nobody has ascended to the White House that will bring more personal passion on this issue. I will fight this and bring a fight to the NRA and the corporate gun lobby like they have never seen before. This is a president that has a better relationship with dictators like Duterte and Putin than he does with Merkel and Macron. So should more Americans including those here in Texas and, and in Iowa, follow your diet? <laughs> um, you know, first of all, I wanna say no. I, I, actually, I wanna translate that into Spanish. No. Um, <laughs> but I wanna, I wanna switch because we don't have crowded debate stage. We were talking about Afghanistan and Iraq. It, it, it annoys me that we had a conversation about our troops overseas and we didn't say one word about veterans in our country. We have a shameful reality in America that we send people off to war and they often come home with invisible wounds, hurts and harms. They're disproportionately homeless. You hear stories about women waiting for months for gynecological care through the VA. It is very important that as we as a country understand that we are not gonna solve every problem with this outrageous increased militarism, that we also make sure that we stand up for the people that stood for us. We end our national anthem with home of the brave. It's about time we make this a better home for our brave. Uh, it became a spectacle and we lost that election. And here's a bit of advice to everybody. If you're gonna have a spectacular failure, have a documentary team there to capture it because it made for an Oscar nominated documentary called Street fight, but then unfortunately another setback, it lost in the Oscars to a movie called March of the Dagnab Penguins, for crying out loud. <laughs> There's an old African saying that says, if you want to go fast, go alone, but if you want to go far, go together. The lesson I learned of resilience is to trust people, because the power of the people is always greater than the people in power, and the test of America right now is not a referendum on Donald Trump, it's a referendum on us and who we are and who we're going to be together. We need to use this moment in history to unite in common cause and common purpose, and then there's nothing we can't do together as a nation. Hey, this is Cory Booker. If you like what you're watching, please subscribe to our channel. I'm excited about you doing just that. And also go over to coreybooker.com to find out even more.